I think first, I, I know you've probably seen the statement, but some people haven't, so I'm just going to read our statement this morning, uh, also for, for our colleagues in television and radio as well, and then I'll come to your, um, your, your questions. Uh, so the, the, the IOC statement. Uh, the IOC president held a face-to-face -face meeting with Peng Shui as announced last November. He was joined by the former chair of the Athletes Commission and IOC member Kirsty Coventry. The meeting took place on Saturday over dinner at the Olympic Club in Beijing. Peng Shui informed the president that she would attend several events at the Olympic Winter Games Beijing 2022 over the coming days. Later that evening, she and Kirsty Coventry attended the mixed curling match between China and Norway. During the dinner, the three spoke about their common experience as athletes at the Olympic Games, and Peng Shui spoke of her disappointment and not being able to qualify for the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020. In this context, she also shared her intention to travel to Europe when the COVID-19 pandemic is over. And the IOC president invited her to Lausanne to visit the IOC and also the Olympic Museum to continue the conversation on their Olympic experiences. Peng Shui accepted this invitation. Kirsty Coventry and Peng Shui also agreed that they would remain in contact and all three agreed that any further communication about the content of the meeting would be left to her discretion. The in-person meeting in Beijing followed a series of telephone conversations with Peng Shui uh, over the past few months, which started on the 21st of November with a call attended by the IOC president and the current chair of the IOC Athletes Commission, Emma Terho, who unfortunately could not take part in the meeting in Beijing. That's our statement uh, from this morning. To answer your question, I don't think it's a judgment for the IOC to make. Uh, we are a sporting organization and uh, our job is to uh, remain in contact with her and as we've explained in the past, uh, to carry out personal uh, quiet diplomacy, to keep in touch with her as we've done, to meet her in person as we've done, uh, and now invite her to Lausanne to see us uh, she had a long conversation with Kirsty Coventry yesterday, uh, yesterday, I think, at the curling the day before. Um, so we, are, as a sports organisation, are doing everything to ensure um, that she uh, is happy. And I don't think it's up for us to be able to judge uh, in one way, just as it's not for you to judge either in one way or another her position. Um, yes, lady there, and then we'll go. No, lady. So let us begin. Um, I think, Kit, were you going to go first or? No, Wang Chuan, if you could start first, that would be great. Yeah. Yeah. You first, yeah. Yes. 